hi guys so in this video lecture we are going to learn how to migration happen in uh, room database and uh, in previous lecture we have learned how to create the database how to perform the insertion and retrieve operation so let's go for the migration so that is very important whenever you have published your uh, apk to the play store and after some time you have do, uh, you have done some modification in your table and you want to upload the next version to the play store so there is a chances where you will get the crash and because of the modification of table so to solve this problem the room database provides us a migration functionality so let's start with this so first of all we have to go to the our student table and suppose we are this is our database version one so let's take and backup for this one okay so we'll make this apk as a version one okay so just copy here put into the desktop and make it as a version one okay so next is uh, let's perform some modification to the table let's execute this in our android studio emulator so let's go to the copy this apk and so once we execute here we can see here there's a one entry we have added okay now we have to change our database version from one to two and we did the modification in our student table so the modification is we have to add one more column that is pin code okay and so the student table is modification and let's go to the database so the initial version is one now we have to change to version two and we have to create a one more variable for migration So the migration version from 1 to 2 is type of migration equal to object migration object here and here we have to pass the version 1 to 2 and we have to override the method Let's migrate okay so the next step is in this section we have to define our the query for update the table so just we have to go to the our section here and we just copy this code so the code is alter the table a student add the column is address to so here we have the column is pin code we just replace here pin code and what types of this uh, column is text and we have to set the properties not null and default is empty because we have to add some default entry so and this variable we have to set into the, our database builder class so there is a one method present in the builder class is migration add migration and we have to pass this variable here okay so all things are completed for the migration first we have to change the version second we have to create the migration variable and in that one we have to override the migrate uh, migrate method and we have to perform the migration of your table so here we have to perform the migration like table alter the table student and we have to add one more column that is pin code and the property is not null default is empty so let's go to the main activity and here we have to change here add more value here okay so that's done let's create a one more build here okay so build is ready and let's copy this build into our folder and here we have to define this as a version 2 okay. 
now run this version in our emulator okay so it's done and let's open this application again so we can see here there is no crash and the table is successfully updated so the default value of a pin code is also updated in the previous entry that is id1 and the second address pin code is added so this is the way we can do the migration in our room database so there is a one more types of migration is present in our uh, room database that is click here and we can is fallback mig migration so is the method is fall to destructive migration okay so the fallback destructive migration is used for uh, suppose example you have to update your database version here we are updating the database version to third and the you want to clean your database and freshly install the, your uh, the latest database in your application so all the data will be stored in your table will be removed and the fresh data will be inserted when you are performing any action in your database so this method is uh, fallback destructive migration is it will be remove all your entries and it will create our new database so let's create a build for this one and we will like we have the two and ent three entries in our table and once we execute once we install this application so just replace this here so we can see here all this three entry will be removed and this uh, the one new entry will be added when we are opening the application so here we can see here this new fresh entry will be added okay so this is the way we can do uh, we can perform our migration first is if we want to keep your database in your application so we can uh, do the migration like the method is add migration and we can perform the migration with the help of migrate method here we can uh, perform the alteration of your table or if you want to remove your all the data and freshly install so we can just simply use fallback destructive migration so this is the two way we can perform the migration so guys thank you so in the next lecture we are going to uh, insert uh, some object that is not supported by the sql database that is date or and if you want to store some object so in the part third we can perform this action okay so thank you guys if you like my videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for the notification so whenever i upload any video so you will get the notification for that so thank you guys bye